So let's get to the next level, Protostar Format 1. Um, the description says, this level shows how format strings can be used to modify arbitrary memory location. Hints object dump minus t is your friend and your input string lies up for the stack. Okay, the source code. Um, we have the main function again, then, then a function that takes a string or a character pointer which will be the user input afterwards. Um, it prints out the string and then it checks if the target, so which is in a variable, has been changed. So let's get into it. First get two levels. Um, okay, so what we can do, we can um, run the program format one and provide us um, a string and you can see it prints out the string. This is the print here, the printf. So um, what we do, we will form an attack string afterwards, uh, afterwards with um, a Python script. So Python minus C print so what we will print first is we will print out the stack. So let's print out 150 values. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so now you can see that um, we printed out something from the stack. And then a pattern does occur often. Let's check what this is all about. It is 25 decode x. It's a percent and 2e. 2e is a dot. Okay, so we print out this string all the time. Okay, um, let's put something recognizable in the string. We will print out some A's at the beginning. Okay, so let's check if we are able to find those A's. There they are. There are the A's. There are some too. Okay, let's try um a different number of per, um of stack values where are the a's they are here so what we're going to um we're going to look for a, a offset we need here this 130 and for this offset we will print the the variable of, or we will change the variable of the target int, uh, integer variable, this one. So we need an offset for it to get to the location of the stack, uh, in the stack. Um, but I notice that um, the stack changes all the time. So let's, for example, let's get the last address here. And let's see the last address here. Oops, mistake, sorry. So this one is something with 7, 8, 25, this one too. So they are basically the same, but the dots are um, different um, on different parts of the uh, attack string. So if you change it again, yeah, it changes a bit too much in my opinion. I, I don't want to to try a lot here. So we can use simple bash scripting when we learned in um with um, the bandit levels. Uh from let me think about it. Um uh, over the wire bandit it was. There you learn my best script. I can tell you guys to try it out too. 
So what we will do, we will do for i in 1 to, um, let's go to 150. We will first print our print out um, the variable we are at or the index we are at. We will format one afterwards with a Python minus C um, print print to 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 print some A's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, then a number, which will be the offset we are at, or we are trying, and afterwards we will print out the hex value. Okay, uh, let's close Python. Let's echo it, and done. Um, this is not correct. Yep, I fucked up the parentheses. So and the parentheses thing, I will showcase something at the end. Uh, no, I did not do it correct either. Let me think. So we are, okay, let's get from the beginning, for i in um, a sequence, then we echo what we've done, uh, the, the value, format, dollar python minus c, then we are going to print some a's, this is the mistake I'm doing right here, is the value, the dollar sign, so now it should work. Yep, now it's working. Uh, let's get a dot in here too, after the A's. Okay, so what we are going to look now is we are going to look for 414141. One, one. Um, oh, our video is ready. So let's go to, there are some for once. There are some other for once. Um, so we have to replace something in this string. But I don't want to calculate everything right here. So we do A, B, C, B, E, F, G, H. And let's try it again. So that was at 128, yes, right here. So we can use this offset, 128. And let's check where uh, what is 20, uh, 45 decode hex. This is an E, and 42 is an B. So we have to print out an A an address and then we have to print out fgh for our exploit so what we do now we want to format our final um, attack string but how to do it we have uh, we do need to know the address of the format variable we will use object dump minus t as the tip says in in the description, I know. In the description, um, format one, we will grab for target. So there is the address. Let's copy it. So, um, so now we are going to format our attack string. Format one. Um, let's do a Python again, Python minus C, print 1A, then the address, which is 38, 96, 04, 08, 
and remember this is little endian. Afterwards we will print out fdh. Then let's do a dot again. Then we will print out 128 for our offset. And let's do and let's write to it. Okay, this should work. Yes. So what we've done, we have um, modified, uh, we calculated the offset, which is 128. We insert um, the target variable right here and we have modified the target then. So um, one interesting note I'd mentioned before is with those um, quotation marks here. So um, as you can see, we modify the target with this string. But if we change um, the double quote with the single quote, so let's change it right here. So um, our, our string we do here, or we print out the A's and the address and so on, are in, is in single, mo uh, in single quotes and the print is in double quotes. This does not work. So this is something I, uh, when I first played the level, I noticed at the end. Um, so uh, at the end of each level, I try a bit, and I play a bit with the with my attack string, for example, or with the stack, and I noticed this. Um, it drove me nuts because I was not able to to get the reason for it why it does not work. Um, I asked in our um, CTF team open to all and Sai was very very um, helpful there and explained it to me why it does not work and how it works with the single quote and the double quote um, switched. Um, so thanks to Sai again. So let's check, um, let's insert a backslash here. Now it works. Let's delete the backslash. The backslash no, does not work. Let's get the old um, one again. So with backslash does not work. Without backslash it works. So what there we can see that um, the problem is at the backslash. So how do we What's the problem here? So the problem is uh, here is that, for example, if we echo the path variable, we get the, um, this address at uh, this location of the path variable. So if we put it in single quotes, we echo path, not the the value from path. And if we put it in double quotes, we um, echo the value of path. So what um, is the, the opposite between those, those two? So the single quotes does no interpretation of any um, interpretational string or a character in it. And the inter interpretational character is this dollar sign or a backslash. And those double quotes do a uh, interpretation of those uh, special characters. So thanks again to Sai for helping me with that and to clarify it. So um, in my opinion it's just a easier way to or to 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 remember um, what quotes you're use uh, what um, quotes you're using and to use your Use your special characters wisely and try it uh, a bit with it around if it does not work at the first time. So just don't say, oh, my string have, has to work and there's a mistake <coughs> somewhere else. Try with it around. So, um, yeah, that was Formal Level 1 from Podestar.